<laughs> Hi there, welcome back to Plastic Junkies horror segment, horror toy cave, that's right. It's Halloween, it's, well, it's the month of Halloween, my apologies, my little creatures of the night. And today's special is Phantasm, part one. Uh, there's a store here in where I live that every single, yes, go for it, I'm not going to say the name. We're not at Times Square Store. Nope. Every single year they make a special for Halloween movies. 2010, it was, 2011, it was $6.66, and then, no, 2010, and then 2011, 2012, 2013, blah, 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 it's $5 a movie. I bought this for $5. Anchor Bay Collection. What I like about the Anchor Bay Collection, they come in these nice, beautiful packaging, um, uh, slip cases, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, uh, they always put the original, original first, first, uh, uh, screen poster they have in in the when you go in the in the in, when you go and see the cinema at the movies. This one came out in the eighties. I give the movie right away five skulls. This movie you have to watch part two to understand what what's happening. What? Yes, it's understandable a little bit. What it is about this boy that there's a um, a cemetery and a house where it's a mausoleum, mausoleums, where it's one of those cemeteries where they have mostly, everybody is inside the wall. Uh, yeah, it's a mausoleum, I guess. Yeah, that's what they call it, but a big mausoleum, okay? There, none of them is underground. And, and, and basically, there's this man that every time the boy is dreaming or he sees something, he sees the tall man. That's what he sees. Basically, the movie itself is really creepy and cool. Uh, he's always going after the kid, trying to catch him. There's this really, really funky ball. I forget what the ball's called. That it has spikes. It, it looks for you, and when it gets close to you... Yes, I'm giving the wind boy away, but who cares? You have to watch it. You have, I'm reading the movie itself, the toy, and that's it. When, when it comes after you, it goes into your skull, starts... Zzzz, the blood starts pouring out from the back of the ball, and then you're dead. And then you become... And then you become dead. Dead. One of these little minions. So the movie, I give it a five. The toy itself, I can't go wrong. I give it five. It's from called Classic Series Two Phantasm. This movie came out. It, this toy came out in 2005. Here's the back of it. Articulation is pretty cool. From this set, of, I also have Donnie Darko. I, don't, I didn't buy the, the new Nightmare, and I didn't go for Text Chainsaw Massacre. I didn't care. This one took me a while to really, really buy it. You know, like, do I want it? No. But finally, I bought it. So it says the tall man features Silver Spear, Evil Minion, and Portal Base. That's it, Evil Minion. And the Spear, yeah. Silver Spear. That's it. So, Silver Spear. Not Spear. Um, is it Spear? Mm -hmm. Silver... Sphere. Sphere. Oh, I can't remember how it's pronounced. Oh, Silver Sphere. That's the name of the uh, little ball you were talking about. Yeah, that's right. From Real Tours, NECA. NECA, I gotta admit, started making nice figures in the 2000s. These figures, once they made them, I swear to you, you're gonna pay between $39.99 to like, say $35, to like about $45 US for this figure. Plus the shipping and handling. I got it for a really good price. I am telling nobody. I give it a five. Give the movie a five. I give part two the uh, part two of Phantasm a five. I still have to buy it. Oh, it's getting a little bit scratched. Oh well. See, that's what happens when you get these little silvery things. But for five dollars, who cares? It's so cheap. Uh, I want to get part two. I didn't see it. Uh, I I don't recommend part three and four. It's not one of the best movies made. The more they made uh, Phantasm, the other two they went down. One and two, I give it five. Five skulls. That's all I can say about Tall Man and Phantasm. Go check it out. Stay horror.